greetings in the name of the Most High. I just wanted to remind you fools out there that your time is near. The time that the Creator will visit you. In the scripture it says, and when they shall say peace, then sudden destruction will come upon them as a woman in travail, and they will not escape. I will now read you the prophecy of Jeremiah the prophet. You must never listen to an Anglo-German reading scripture. They know nothing about scripture. The Creator is going to kill the Anglo-Germans. All of them. Now listen. And the ones that survive will become slaves. <laughs> yeah. It's the truth. Uh, look what's going on in Europe, right? And who's, do, who's allowing the immigrants into Europe? The Muslims. Merkel, right? And what is she? A German? No, she's not a German. I've told you before. The elites look human, but they're not. And they're working as Freemasons. And what they do is the top level ones are there to harvest the souls of all who serve them. Because Satan needs workers in hell. Okay, another dimension parallel to this. Also known as the realm of the dead. It's an inferior world. Ghastly and much worse than this. <laughs> the, oh my gosh. The rules that apply here, to, they have different physics there, okay? But anyway, whatever. You don't understand these things because you, you're Esau. You're carnal. You're, you lack abstract thought, spirituality. The only way you uh, profit or succeed is through deceit and murder. And since the people, the Creator, by and large, are not deceitful or murderous, you have taken advantage of them. But now that's coming to an end because we're about to enter the next age according to scripture not according to me I have nothing to do with it and you know it but nonetheless they still uh, terrorize me and today I, there was a guy with the van outside right I got the huge binoculars right <laughs> and I'm looking right in his face and what they do is they tap into your Wi-Fi to see what you're doing now see that th this is this is Esau Esau has no respect for his neighbors, for God. It's not God is not his name, but Esau has no respect for anything. And since he's an idiot, because he's always isolated himself into these little enclaves and created a society based on racism and duplicity, when he sees anybody, somebody like me, right, he believes his own lies. So he thinks... You know, all kinds of crazy things, right? Like he's a Muslim, he's this and that. I'm not even a Muslim. But but see, Esau cannot live in peace with anybody. Esau is a parasite. But let me continue. And you're going to die. Yes, you have weapons. And yes, you're going to anticipate the revolt. And you, it doesn't matter. Because <laughs> you're all going to die. You understand? The scripture says... The scripture is just basically the creator telling you ahead of time. It's not me. I'm not saying anything. What the Creator is telling you is that as the revolts ensue and you're killing the innocent and all this stuff, then you get invaded. Not by one army, but all kinds of people. Not to mention that you already have the, the enemy is already inside. Oh, man. You, you yourself have imported the enemy into your own country. And then you're so stupid, right? You say, i got to remove the Mexicans. The Mexicans aren't the ones that are trying to kill you. Okay, these crazy, crazy Muslims, those guys are crazy. I mean, there is nothing, okay, let me put it this way. The people of the Creator, the Hebrew deity, have nothing in common with Islam. I have nothing in common whatsoever with Islam. Islam takes matters into their own hands. The deity of the scriptures, the revenge comes from him in various ways. For example... And you can laugh if you want to. But you're not going to be laughing very long. As you begin to attack us, as saints of the Most High begin to die, you will start noticing an increase in geological activity. You will notice things falling out of the sky. Very large things. 
<laughs> and the creator is going to release an entire vast army of supernatural beings that will come to attack the enemies of Israel. Then, after the United States is destroyed by God, the other nations will see and they will wonder, should we really be following Satan? And what's going to happen is that all the nations of the earth will bow to those that you are cursing today. Those you enslaved in previous ages and times, your people will bow to them. Kings queens will bow to people who yesterday were indigents but you can believe what you want to believe I'm just telling you what the Creator plans to do with you those of you that are not outright killed and for the most part you will serve to feed the dogs and the birds and of course dogs need food especially during an apocalypse so you will be dog chow but now it's not my will. I'm just telling you what the book says, okay? But let me continue. I'm going to read now. <sighs> Jeremiah 51. Now let me explain something to you, Esau. Uh, the way the prophecies work is these are templates. Templates. This book is equivalent to the rules of engagement. And it's encrypted. So you're not going to understand what <laughs> what it's saying. It's encrypted. So you can watch me all day. I'm not even doing anything because I know that's what you do. They get the gangs talking and everybody's complaining about it. Everybody. Even white people are complaining about it. Um, so you can do all you're watching you want. Is, is, he, is, does, is he planning on doing something? <laughs> does he have any weapons? <laughs> no. My weapon is the creator. His truth is my shield. Am I perfect? No, far from it. I am no different than you in many regards, except one. I love the Creator, and I fear the Creator. Okay, so despite my flaws, I fear the Creator dreadfully. A lot of us out here, for the most part, have multiple personalities, because you're living in a psychotic society. But... The Creator says that at the end of the day, if your good outweighs your evil, you're going to enter the kingdom of the Creator. So, I believe that whatever flaws I have, my virtues vastly outweigh them. Because I've done a lot of good in this world. I fed the poor, I helped children. Not now, because I'm kind of like, you know, immobilized, but I've done a lot of good. I have good intentions. The whole time, every step of the way, being blocked by this devil, Esau. You're a devil. But let me just continue reading. Jeremiah 51. By the way, in, in scripture, a mountain uh, can also be a government. A king can be a president. Okay? The, and I know that right now they're all watching and listening, right? They're driving around. Yeah, I know. Idiots. Jeremiah 51. Thus said the Almighty, See, I am stirring up the spirit of the destroyer against Babel, against those who dwell in Leb, my opponents. That's the Middle East. But see, the Middle East is going to get it at the same time the U.S. gets it. And I shall send winnowers to Babel, <coughs> fanners. You know how Sorrel sends the protesters well, the creator is going to send fanners you know what fanners do they fan the flames you see those riots it's not going to be like it used to be before where they just riot in their own community if the scripture is correct every city in North America will burn to ashes and to make things worse the alliance of enemy nations who hate you, which is 90% of the planet, <laughs> uh, they're standing by, right? They're not going to invade right away. They're going to let you kind of duke it out for a while. You know, blood in the streets, 
cities on fire, earthquakes, uh, reactors acting up, uh, electrical celestial events, rocks falling out of the sky, spooks, uh, as in supernatural stuff, all kinds of weirdness, right? And most of you will go insane. You'll have the, the, these idiot kind of uh, former military psychotics running around, but they will die because they will be taken care of by who? The rioters. <clears throat> now don't panic and start martial law right away. I'm just this this prophecy has been in here for six thousand years. <laughs> Idiots. Esau, you are an idiot. You are an idiot. There they are, you know. On their computers. Bob, what do you got? <sighs> Sitting on the computer, you know, monitoring, you know. They got all technology hooked up in there, you know. Thus said the Almighty, See, I am stirring up the spirit of the destroyer against Babylon, against those who dwell in Leb, my opponents. And I shall send winnowers to Babel, who shall winnow her, and empty her land. Empty your land. Oh, and as this is happening, all the nations of the earth are beating up Esau in their countries. And taking over his hotels, and wherever he saw is, he's going to be <laughs> eaten alive. There's nothing you can do except repent. Now, if you do repent, which most of you won't do because you're psychotic, if you do repent, the Creator might spare you. But you're a tough guy, right? In your own mind. And I shall send winnowers to Babel, who shall winnow her, and empty her land. For they shall be against her all around in the day of evil. Let the archer draw his bow, and let him stand ready in his armor. That's like an infantry guy standing next to the cannon, you know. Do not spare her young men. Put all her army under the ban. And the slain shall fall in the land of the Kathdites, that's the Middle East, and the pierced through in her streets. For neither Yisrael nor Yehuda, that's me, and Yehuda, is widowed by his Elohim, his God. Ahaya of hosts, the Almighty, though their land has been filled with sin against the Kadash one of Israel, That is to say that we have sinned against the Creator and in many cases continue to do so because we're living in a diseased demonic society that intentionally uh, tempts us into doing evil. You see, it's, the, it's a way of life here to do evil. It, everything you see is evil. Uh, they, they, they coax us at every turn. It's just horrible. But... They try to appeal to our our lower nature, you see. So that's the Anglo-German Esau. He does it on purpose. For neither Yisrael nor Yehuda is widowed by his Elohim. The Almighty of hosts, though their land has been filled with sin against the Kadash one of Yisrael. Kadash simply means holy in your words. But of course, English is satanic language, so holy, you know, like it's filled with holes. Flee from the midst of Babylon, and let each one save his life. Do not be cut off in her wickedness. For this is the time of the vengeance of the Almighty, the recompense he is repaying to her. You see, you went on for a couple thousand years, that was called an age in scriptural terminology. This age is coming to an end. This was the age of Esau. Now, this was your age. But now our age is coming. If you kill us here, we, we will be reborn into the repaired earth. Okay? We will be reborn. If you die, you go to hell. Because you're on the other side. You see? Now you don't have to be on the other side. But you have to abandon the other side and you have to fight against it. Okay? You're not going to do that. So chances are, you're going to hell. <clears throat> Babel, Babylon, 
was a golden cup in the hand of the Almighty. You see, the Creator had gifted the United States with the potential for great success. But instead of using um, those blessings for good, they turned to, to evil. And so now the Creator is going to withdraw from you. Babel was a golden cup in the hand of the Almighty, making drunk all the earth. The nations drank her wine. That is why the nations went mad. See, the, <laughs> the nations are currently... Don't think that there's any organization here. You hear these things about Putin and, and Trump, that Trump's going to save you and this and that. <laughs> what do you think his name is Trump? As in the last trumpet <laughs> the last trump you got you gotta understand that Obama is not against Trump Trump is not against Obama Trump is not against Hillary Hillary is not against Trump they are Freemasons but they are a very high level Freemasons which means that they're not human and what they've done is they've hired you the police and the soldiers and all the small-time idiots who think you're Freemasons you're not Freemasons you're just going to be harvested for hell. The underworld. Hades. Shale. Whatever you want to call it. It's a very real place. Babylon was a golden cup in the hand of the Almighty, making drunk all the earth. The nations drank her wine. That is why the nations went mad. In other words, all the nations have followed the model of the United States. <clears throat> we would have healed Babel, but she is not healed. Let us leave her and each go to his own land. You see what that says? That can only fit one country. It says, let us each leave her, and each go to his own land, meaning that this is a land of people from other countries, immigrants. For her judgment reaches to the heavens, and is lifted up to the clouds. That is, her sin has reached heaven itself meaning the realm where the Creator lives, the dimension where He dwells, which incidentally is above the earth. The Almighty has brought forth our righteousness. Come and let us declare in Zion the work of the Almighty, our God. You see what's good? That, what that's saying is that once the United States is destroyed, the survivors who will be the sons and daughters of the Most High are going to celebrate. And they're going to inherit the current land of Israel because all those uh, <coughs> white people claiming to be Jews are going to be destroyed. Polish the arrows. Those are the missiles. Polish the arrows. Like the Satan too, for example. Polish the arrows. Put on the shields. Yeah, like your, your missile defense systems. For the Almighty has stirred up the spirit of the kings of the Medites. Those are the Iranians. For his plan is against Babylon to destroy it. Because it is the vengeance of the Almighty. The vengeance for his temple. <coughs> you see the Creator has a temple at his throne in his dimension. Also known as the seventh heaven. The seventh heaven. Think about that. Think of magnitudes, okay? <laughs> Lift up a banner on the walls of Babylon. Strengthen the watch. Yeah, you better get your NSA ready. Which, Because your NSA go out like that. EMP. Electromagnetic pulse. Could be a solar flare or could it be the, uh, artificially induced. Like that, you're done. <laughs> so much for NSA. Done. Uh, so much for homeland Nazi wannabes. Lift up a banner on the walls of Babylon. Strengthen the watch. Station the watchmen. Prepare the ambush. Oh, you see the ambush already. And that's just a preview. Lift up a banner on the walls of Babylon. Strengthen the watch. Station the watchmen. Prepare the ambush. For the Almighty has both planned and done what he spoke concerning the inhabitants of Babylon. You who dwell upon many waters, 
Okay, the many waters. That means many people and also many waters. Of course, this is a land of many waters. It's basically an island. <coughs> you who dwell upon many waters, great in treasures, your end has come. The measure of your greedy gain. The Almighty of hosts has sworn by himself, I shall certainly fill you with men as with locusts and they shall lift up a shout against you. Now, I, am, I really have to say that when this prophecy comes due, if I am alive to see it, I just want to see the look of Esau on his face. Now, honestly, I feel bad for these people. And I know, it's, you think it's a sign of weakness for me to be, like I wouldn't love you if you turned from your wickedness. Yes, I would love you. I would embrace you as a brother. But we cannot be brothers because you hate me for no reason. What have I done to you? Nothing. I'm just a guy that sits here. What do you do? You you trespass my property, you bug my equipment, and you're constantly watching me because you haven't got a life of your own. Okay? When well, I'm just a guy not bothering anybody. But you know what? I got something you ain't got. I got the Creator, and He's going to kick your ass. Hardcore. And you're going to watch. The Scripture says He's going to kill your families. That's what it says. It says that whoever comes against the children of Israel, they will be drunken with their own blood, and they will be fed with their own flesh. And there's people out there that really don't like you very much, Esau. You who dwell upon many waters, great in treasures, your end has come, the measure of your greedy gain. You can follow with me. You can pause this right now and go to Jeremiah 51, verse 14. Go ahead, Esau. Don't be, don't be shy. I know you're very angry and possessed by demons. But just go do it. Just go do it. Maybe you can learn something. Maybe you can learn to be a human being and stop being a slave, following people and trying to be something you're not, like a Nazi. Because you're not a Nazi. Because Nazis aren't real. <coughs> Look what happened to Germany and Hitler, right? A fag. Hitler was a Freemason, you moron. A high-level guy just harvesting the souls of the idiots who followed him. And they were harvested. And a black man defeated the Aryan supremacy theory. You who dwell upon many waters, great in treasures, your end has come. The measure of your greedy gain. The Almighty of hosts has sworn by himself, I shall certainly fill you with men as with locusts. And they shall lift a shout up against you. Okay? So where are they coming from? <coughs> they're coming from everywhere. Because they're going to land paratroopers in here. I mean, you're talking about 200 million soldiers from China? <coughs> At night? Just landing everywhere, right? Russians coming from Alaska? Mexicans? In internal enemies? <laughs> Tsunamis on the entire coast? Lights out with an EMP. <laughs> but you bad, right? You bad. <clears throat> he made the earth by his power. He established the word by his wisdom. And he stretched out the heavens by his understanding. When he gives forth his voice, the waters in the heavens roar and he makes vapors to ascend from the ends of the earth he makes lightnings for rain and he brings the wind out of his treasuries all mankind has become too brutish to know now this is where we're coming into uh, metaphors that is a, repre a symbolic representation of the idols of this country meaning the materialism Every smith has been put to shame by the carved image. A carved image, meaning a design. It could be a car, um, a TV, whatever, an idol. Every smith has been put to shame by the carved image. For his molded image is falsehood. And these, there is no breath. They are worthless. A work of mockery. 
In the time of their punishment they perish. But the portion of Jacob is not like this. Not like them. Okay, our portion, me. I'm the enemy, right? That's, that means I'm Jacob. So if I'm Jacob, your enemy because you hate me, right? This is what the Creator says, that my, what's, my inheritance, what I'm going to get is different from you. My world is going to be a lot of different than the world you lived in. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the maker of all, and Israel is the tribe of his inheritance. The Almighty of hosts is his name. Ahaya, you are my battle axe. Now watch this. You are my battle axe, weapons of battle. And with you I shall break nations to pieces. And with you I shall destroy governments. And with you I shall break in pieces the horse and its rider. And with you I shall break in pieces the chariot, which is a car, or a helicopter, or an airplane and its rider. And with you I shall break in pieces man and woman. And with you I shall break in pieces old and young. And with you I shall break in pieces the young man and the maiden. Yeah, but <laughs> that's the violent side, you see. But this is once, once you start hurting Israel, that's when Israel becomes activated. See, Israel it's like a mass, like a monster, like a like a like a T Rex that's been slumbering, right? And then you prod, and you keep prodding, and you keep prodding, and then you're gonna find out your worst nightmare. And with you, I shall, because you haven't seen Israel yet. <laughs> You've only seen parts of Israel. But Israel is awakening. And once they see what you're going to do to Israel, Israel is going to get activated. <laughs> you see? That's why the Creator says, Can a nation be born in one day? Because as soon as Israel started to suffer, she was born. And with you I shall break in pieces the shepherd and his flock. And with you I shall break to pieces the farmer and his yoke of oxen. And with you I shall break in pieces governors and rulers. And I shall repay Babylon and all the inhabitants of the Kasdim, that's the Middle East, for all the evil they have done in Zion. And I shall do it before your very eyes declares the Almighty. See, I am against you, O destroying mountain, who destroys all the earth. Who could that be? <clears throat> declares the Almighty. And I shall stretch out my hand against you, and I shall roll you down from the rocks, and I shall make you a burnt mountain. They shall not take from you a stone for a corner, nor a stone for a foundation. But you shall be a waste forever, declares the Almighty. And even now, as I read this, you mock the Almighty. You laugh at the Creator, even now as I read this. But I prophesy to you this day, you will not be laughing much longer. You will start to see things you never dreamt of. <sighs> they shall not take from you a stone for a corner nor a stone for a foundation, but you shall be a waste forever, declares the Almighty. Lift up a banner in the land, blow the ram's horn among the nations. <clears throat> Prepare the nations against her. Call the governments together against her. Ararat, Mini, Ashkenaz. Appoint a commander against her. Bring up the horses like hairy locusts. Horses of vehicles. Separate the nations against her with the kings of the Medites. 
the kings of the Iranians. You see, the Iranians are a weapon that the Creator uses. And they are not afraid to die in the very least. Continuing. But you can go sneaking around. You see, that's the thing about Esau. You're so unmanly. You get the guy with the lawnmower around here. They're always like peeping and sneaking. And that, that's just so unmanly. But because you have jobs and you've been lording it over the innocent and the and the naive, you think you're you're deluded. You're confused. You don't it's you don't realize that you're living in a bubble. Okay, let me continue. Again, none of this is my will. I'm reading you the scriptures and interpreting what the Creator plans to do to you. <sighs> Lift up a banner in the land. Blow the ram's horn among the nations. <coughs> the ram's horn is blown when there's a war about to begin. Or the enemy is on the horizon, whatever. Now listen, don't go away, don't fall asleep. Separate the nations against her with the kings of the Madites, which is the Iranians, its governors and all its rulers, all the land of his rule, so that the land shakes and writhes in pain. That means the United States is going to shake and writhe in pain. And what's really interesting about this, a lot of these blonde people walk around with their noses in the air the scripture says you're going to be utterly destroyed <laughs> they make a big fuss out of nothing okay wait till this <laughs> wait till this happens so that the land shakes and writhes in pain for every plan of the almighty shall be established against Babylon to make the land of Babylon a ruin without inhabitant okay and you can forget all that nonsense about Babylon as Iran in scripture uh, there are different symbolisms and things that occur which only uh, the people of the Creator can understand and I am telling you that I am the people of the Creator <clears throat> the mighty men of Babel have ceased to fight they remained in their strongholds. That's you, uh, the Anglo-German hiding in the trench. You don't want to fight because you're like, man, we are outnumbered. And they're going to kill us because, remember, just before that, you were killing the Israelites, the black people in the street, and shooting the Mexicans and all that, right? Remember how you did? And now you turn around and you realize the entire country has been invaded by multiple armies. And they're all gunning for one thing. The mighty men of Babel have ceased to fight. They remained in their strongholds. Their might has failed. They became like women. They have burned her dwelling places. The bars of her gate have been broken. One runner meets another and one reporter to another to report to the king of Babylon, that's the president, that his city has been taken on all sides. Let me prophesy to you this day, if I am not Jacob, you will not hear this from anybody, not even the black Israelites. This is saying that Washington will have a siege against it. <clears throat> I read again. <clears throat> one runner runs to meet another, and one reporter to meet another, to report to the king of Babel that the city is taken on all sides, and the fords have been captured, and they have been burned, the reeds with fire, and the soldiers are startled. <laughs> Saith the scriptures. The soldiers are startled. You can't make this up, right? For thus said the Almighty of hosts, the Elohim of Israel, the daughter of Babylon is like the threshing floor at the time it is trodden. 
You see, Babylon is Europe. The daughter is the United States. Remember, Europe, Britain, gave birth to America, its daughter. It says here, all you daughter of Babylon that are to be destroyed, happy shall they be that dash your little children to pieces, and to do to you as you have done to us. That's what the scripture says. But here it's saying that the daughter of Babylon is as a threshing floor. That's where they take the wheat and they smash it all up, okay? Yet a little while, and the time of her harvest shall come. Remember I told you that all the wicked here who serve the beast, they, the, the, the leaders, they're lying to you. The Trumps, the... It's a theater, but it, what it's really about is a spiritual thing. That's why they have spirit cooking parties, and that's why they worship Satan. Because they're here to harvest the souls of their subjects. I'm not one of them. I don't, I don't submit to Satan. I'm on the other side, the light side. <clears throat> now here it says Nebuchadnezzar, because remember, this is a template. But the Creator is wise, so he used it in that time, he uses it in this time as well. Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babel, has devoured us. That means the president, or the governments of the United States. He has crushed us. He has made us an empty vessel. He has swallowed us up like a dragon. He has filled his stomach with my delicacies. He has driven us away. Let the violence done to me in my flesh be upon Babylon, saith the inhabitant of Zion. That's us, the Latinos, the blacks, and the Native Americans. Okay? Those are the inhabitants of Zion. And what is, they're, they're, they are rejoicing that what, what was done to them is now going to be done to you. So every, every time in the previous lives you were stabbing the black man or whatever you do, raping the woman, what you were really doing was raping and stabbing yourself. You just didn't realize it yet. You're going to find out soon, though. But as the black people say, you don't hear me, though. <sighs> Let the violence done to me and my flesh be upon Babylon, saith the inhabitant of Zion. And let my blood be upon the inhabitants of the Chasdom, saith Yerushalayim. Let me say it right now. Let my blood be upon you. You who reject the Almighty, persecute the innocent and the unsuspecting. Let my blood be upon you and your children. That's right, I just put a curse on you. Oh, and as for satanic curses, they don't apply to the Israelites. <laughs> they don't apply to the Israelites. You can't do this. I had one joker, I came around here high-level warlock or whatever, he put some crap out there. I had another little one running around. Yeah, they're like beacons for demons and whatnot. The demons come and they're like, oh man. I gotta keep mo moving on. This guy's with the with the boss. <laughs> He's with the boss. Even the hybrids, right? I had a hybrid in here that works at the local hospital gang stalker with these idiots. You know, he, tr he, he tried summoning some of this electronic crap in here. Well, I was like, like, I was like laughing and whatnot, man. Like, right, which is just get kind of crazy, because this thing is, is coming to wrap real, real soon, and it's just nuts, right? Uh, let the violence done to me and my flesh be upon you, Babel. Saith the inhabitants of Zion. And let my blood be upon the inhabitants of the Chasdim, saith Jerusalem. Therefore, thus said the Almighty, see, I am pleading your case. He's pleading our case, right? Because you're abusing me, you're terrorizing me, I haven't done anything. I haven't so much as run a stop sign. And they're all out there busy as bees watching me. Okay, fine. Do it your way. <clears throat> Therefore, thus said the Almighty, see, I am pleading your case. And I shall take vengeance for you. And dry up their sea and make her fountain dry. You see, you, you not only do that, you got droughts coming. They're already here. And Babylon shall become a heap, an inhabitant 
an inhabitant for jackals, an astonishment and a hissing without inhabitant. Together they roar like lions, they shall growl like lions, like cubs. In the heat I prepare their feasts, and I shall make them drunk, so that they rejoice and sleep a never-ending sleep and not awake, declares the Almighty. Okay, now what the Creator is saying is He's going to have a party with you. Okay, he's going to have a party with you. He's going to put you to sleep, a never-ending sleep. But let me read it again. In the heat, I will prepare their feasts, and I shall make them drunk, so that they rejoice and sleep a never-ending sleep, and not awake, declares the Almighty. I shall bring them down like lambs to the slaughter, like rams with male goats. Oh, how Sheshach has been captured, the praise of all the earth has been seized. How Babylon has become a ruin among the nations. The sea has risen over Babel. Has been she has been covered with the roaring of its waves. There is, let me prophesy to you one more time. Let me prophesy to you one more time. There is a massive tsunami coming for the East Coast. How do I know? I'm one of the sons of the Most High. And this thing is going to be huge. But let me continue. The sea has risen over Babylon. She has been covered with the roaring of the waves. Her cities have become a ruin, a dry land and a desert, a land where no man dwells, neither does a son of man pass by it. And I shall punish Bel in Babel, and I shall make him spew out what he has swallowed, and the nations shall no longer stream to him, even the wall of Babylon shall fall. Okay, so it's talking about Bell. That's basically the devil. Washington is a temple to Satan. Okay, and the creator is going to destroy it. It will become a parking lot. Come out of her midst, come out of her midst, my people. And let everyone deliver his being from the burning displeasure of the Almighty. See, the Almighty is not just upset with you gang stalkers and idiots, NSA, FBI, CIA. He's uh, Satanists. He's not just upset with you. He's got a burning displeasure. A burning displeasure. And remember, Satan works for the Almighty. Satan is called the father of lies. So, he's lied to you, Freemasons, witches, and Satanists. Come out of her midst, my people, and let everyone deliver his being from the burning displeasure of the Almighty. And lest your heart grow faint, and you fear the report in the land. For a report shall come one year, and after that, in another year, a report shall come and violence in the land, ruler against ruler. Let me prophesy once again. Okay, how many different prophecies are you getting from me? I, if, I, if this is not proof that I am a prophet, I don't even call myself a prophet. I'm just a son of the Most High. The Creator is saying that you're going to get a report one year, and then the next. Great violence in the land. Only it's ruler against ruler, meaning factional division in the government agencies. But you keep on messing with the Son of the Most High, and you will meet me again. <sighs> See, the day is coming that I shall bring punishment on the carved images of Babel. That's your idols and your all plastic Disney World. And all her land shall be put to shame, 
and all her slain will fall in her midst. And the heavens, the Shamayim, and the earth, and all that is in them shall shout for joy over Babylon. For the ravagers shall come to her from the north, declares the Almighty. You see, these armies are coming primarily from the north. But eventually, practically all the nations of the earth shall join together against the United States, including the Europeans. You who have escaped the sword, go away. Do not stand still. Remember the Almighty from afar, and let Jerusalem come to your heart. We are ashamed because we have heard reproach. Shame has covered our faces, for strangers have come into the temple, the house of the Almighty. Therefore see, the days are coming, declares the Almighty, that I shall bring punishment on her carved images, while the wounded groan throughout all her land. Okay, something very powerful is coming against the inhabit the current synagogue of Satan. Though Babylon should mount up to the heavens, and though, sh though she should make the height of her strength inaccessible, but that means is if, <laughs> if you went up into the heavens, the Creator would still reach you. Ravagers shall come to her from me declares the Almighty. Listen, a cry from Babylon and great destruction from the land of the Castites, because the Almighty is ravaging Babylon and shall silence her big mouth. It doesn't say that. It says, and shall silence her loud voice, because you have a really big mouth. You have a big, 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 fat mouth. Anglo-German. Your mouth, your pie hole is going to be shot permanently. Because the Almighty is ravaging Babylon and shall silence her loud voice. And her waves shall roar like great waters. And the noise of their voice shall resound. Because the ravagers shall come against her, against Babylon and her mighty men shall be captured. Let me prophesy yet another time. Your military industrial complex will be taken prisoner according to the scripture. Every one of their bows shall be broken. Every single missile the United States fire fires during the Great War will miss its mark and will be intercepted according to the scriptures not one not two every single one every one of their bows shall be broken for the almighty is the L of recompense see our creator our creator is not just the God of truth he is also known as God of vengeance. He shall certainly repay. And I shall make her rulers drunk, and her wise men, her governors, and her deputies, and her mighty men. And they shall sleep a lasting sleep, and they will not awake, declares the king, whose name is Ahaya of hosts. Thus said Ahaya of hosts, the broad walls of Babylon are completely demolished. Her high gates are burned with fire. And the people labor in vain. And the nations weary themselves for fire. The word that Yermayahu, the Nabai, son of Mashayah, when he went with Zikayahu, the sovereign of Yehuda, to Babel in the fourth year of his reign, and Sariah was a quartermaster. So Yermiyahu wrote in a book all these words which have been written concerning Babylon. And Yermiyahu said to Sariah, When you come to Babylon and see it and read all these words, then you shall say, 
O Ahaya, you have spoken concerning this place to cut it off, so that none shall dwell in it, neither man nor beast, for it is a ruin forever. And it shall be when you have ended reading this book, you shall take a stone, you shall tie a stone to it, and throw it into the middle of the Perath, and you shall say, So does Babylon sink and not rise from the evil that I am bringing upon her, and they shall weary themselves. Thus far are the words of Yerimayahu, Jeremiah the prophet. And there you have it, my friends. Jacob, myself, has just read the scriptures to you, and what is coming exceedingly shortly for the Anglo-German in America. But right now, <laughs> you go to all their websites, like the Lisa Havens, and you go to the all these Christian things, like, uh, what's the other guy? Begley, Paul Begley, and all these things. And they're all so happy, you know, that Trump has won. <clears throat> and I'm not particularly against Trump. I just don't, I'm not into theater, you know. But, uh, they're all so happy, you know. They And with that, shows you right there is that they are not of the creator they don't have the spirit of discernment they don't have this the, 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 they are man followers they're not following the creator they want men to save them and what does the creator say cursed is the man that maketh flesh his arm now as far as you anglo germans who want to repent you can repent and be just like us but you have to turn to the creator yes the, a lot of the black Israelites are saying that you're not going to make it and whatnot uh, definitely the, the chosen people of the Creator are the Israelites who are, who are people of color. Absolutely. The blacks, Latinos, and Indians. But, uh, we will have other brethren, you know, who are not of, of this flock. Meaning that if you repent and you turn to our ways, you will be accepted. You will be like us. And we will be a great nation. Because this era is going to come to an end. It's going to be nothing but destruction all over the world. But there are going to be survivors who will uh, rebuild the civilization. And out of that uh, will come a new age. And children will be born, those righteous who died at your hand. And thus I end this reading. Thank you, Father, for giving me the wisdom. Forgive me for my sins because you know that I, I am far from a righteous person. I am a, a, I do not intend to be unrighteous, it's just that, you know, we're living in this place and it's a mess. But I love the Creator and I pray that, you know, if you reject the Creator, if you just don't care, if you laugh at the people of the Creator, I pray right now, Father, you destroy them all. Open the abyss, send them the locusts. In the name of the Most High, Ahayah, and in the name of His Messenger, Yehoshua, Creator, protect us from what is coming.